Okay, yeah, still working on that uh, problem, uh, problem set, um, solving limits analytically. I think it says on the website, uh, evaluating limits analytically. Um, we are going to start here on number 20. And so we've got this lovely looking problem where we're dealing with fractions, and students do not like dealing with fractions. So anyway, we've got uh, 1 over 7 plus x minus 1 7 all over x as the limit as x goes to 0. So what we're going to need to do here is get this, uh, get the numerator all in one single fraction and you do that by getting a common denominator. Um, so I'm just going to quickly say that uh, we can do what's uh, called a cross mult multiplying. So we take 7 we multiply it by 1 and then take uh, 7 plus x and multiply it by 1 over here on the right and uh, then we multiply the bottoms together and add the tops and what we end up with is rewriting the limit as x goes to zero and so after simplifying this down we get negative x over 49 plus 7x uh, and that's all over x. And then I'm going to come down here and uh, and rewrite this. Now this uh, fraction here on top, which you can do, is just simply uh, drop this piece here to the bottom. And so um, we end up rewriting the limit as x goes to 0. And if I drop this to the bottom, that means I have an x on top and an x down here, and those x's cancel out. And so we end with a negative 1 on top over 49 plus 7x. See, I don't want to get too bogged down here with the arithmetic, so we just kind of quickly go through that. And of course now I can go ahead and plug uh, 0, do the direct substitution, and plug 0 in for x, and then we're just left with negative 1 over 49 as our answer. All right, moving uh, to number 21. And so what we're going to do here is um, we're going to uh, just take this 2, and uh, distribute it across and then simplify it down. So I'm going to go ahead and rewrite the limit as delta x approaches 0 of 2x plus 2 delta x minus 2x and that's all over delta x. And I'm going to rewrite this limit now. So we have the limit as delta x approaches 0. So 2x minus 2x cancels out. You're left with 2 delta x over delta x. But we can continue to rewrite this limit one more time. So you see the delta x's cancel out. And so now we're taking the limit of a constant. And the limit of a constant is just a constant. OK, let's move uh, to 22. And so here in uh, 22, what we're going to have to do, um, we're going to have to uh, foil this thing out because it's squared. And the reason we're doing all this is because remember that uh, if we plug 0 directly into delta x down here, we get 0 in the, uh, in the denominator. And that means that uh, we need to try to uh, simplify this problem completely down, factor if needed. Um, and in this problem here, we're just going to uh, multiply the top out and then simplify it down. So, rewriting the limit 
as delta x approaches zero. So after I uh, multiply all of this out right here, you should get x squared plus 2x delta x minus, well, I mean, plus, I'll let the term off here, delta x squared then minus x squared. And this is all over delta x. All right, and so now we can uh, simplify this more. So we have the limit of delta x approaching 0. And so the um, x squareds cancel out. And so we're left with, uh, let's see, 2x delta x plus delta x squared. And that's all over <laughs> delta x. Okay. I'm going to move the screen in this direction here. So we're this is equal to the limit delta x. Now, we have a delta x here, and two of them here, and one down here. So we can cancel this delta x out, this delta x, and one delta x over here. And so we're going to be left with a 2x plus a delta x. So rewriting this limit one more time, oh, as delta x approaches zero. All right, rewriting this limit one more time, we have delta x approaching zero. Now I can just do a direct substitution, plugging zero directly into delta x, and we're left with 2x as our answer. And that concludes this problem set.